here in San Francisco. As you can see, I'm using my uh, Osmo to film. And I just wanted to kind of give a little explanation why I'm using that. Now, when you have a DSLR, which you would typically use, you would, you know, have to have usually different lenses. Obviously, you have different primes. Um, and since I'm sunny, shooting out in daylight, I would obviously need some uh, ND filters. So it just becomes really cumbersome and a lot of stuff to carry. So that's the reason why I'm not using that and that's why the reason I'm using the Osmo over here. And what's nice is I can operate everything with um, a touch screen. So from actually this distance I can operate the camera. So I don't have to be right next to it. So that's a huge advantage in itself because when you're filming, sometimes the space is really cramped or tight, or you don't have, uh, you know, accessibility to the camera. But with this, I can just uh, through Wi-Fi control the camera, so that makes it nice. Also, I can do time lapse features super quick. I mean, it's pretty incredible how easy time lapses are. I can do a moving time lapse, set the duration, the amount of frames I want, everything, shutter speed and I can control it all manually with the Osmo. And with that, I can also record video. So I can do 4K video. And so it's just one of the benefits of having um, a platform where you can not only do uh, video, you can do photos, I can do panoramas with it. I can do uh, 360 panoramas. I mean, the limitations kind of don't end. The only thing you're limited to is a smaller sensor. But actually when I'm shooting out in areas like this, I kind of want to keep it uh, pretty, uh, you know, large depth of field. So it actually works to my benefit. Now speaking about the ND filter, I have one um, placed on the camera right now. And what it allows me to do is just uh, circu it's a circular uh, kind of ND filter. So you can kind of just, you know, twist it around. I'm not going to touch it right now because it's doing a time lapse, but basically, I mean, I can have my whole camera system right there, and I just put it on a tripod. Also, I don't have to have the, that big of a tripod, that sturdy of a tripod. Um, thankfully, you know, you can put it on a cheap little uh, travel tripod. But anyways, I kind of just want to show you guys what uh, I'm doing as far as recording. I'll try to put some of the videos in the end of this video so you can see what it looks like but I just want to give you guys a heads up maybe uh, consider trying to do some different ways of uh, mobile filmmaking um, obviously it's way better than your phone camera using the Osmo so you can shoot uh, raw pictures JPEGs um, MOV MP4 videos it's only like 300 bucks I mean you really can't beat it so I'll see you guys soon and thanks for watching subscribe like leave a comment um, really enjoy San Francisco. The city is beautiful. I mean, that's supposed to be the tallest tower in the city. So, anyways, beautiful place.